Official day two of CES 2019 kicks off here at the Thermal Take Suite at the Venetian. They got some water cooled RAM over there, which we're going to take a look at right now. BPS Customs coverage of CES 2019 in Las Vegas is made possible by Computer Upgrade King. Whether you need an entry level gaming PC, a reliable workstation, or a beastly streaming setup, CUK has you covered. Featuring the latest AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA components, friendly personalized service, international shipping, and a three-year warranty. If you're in the market for a pre-built of any kind, check out Computer Upgrade King at the link in the video description. Thermaltake is getting into the component market with their new Water RAM RGB kit. Now, what makes it Water RAM? Well, it's these. The memory kits actually come with RGB enabled water blocks on top. And I was talking to them about the actual effectiveness of cooling a memory kit with water blocks. And they said, you know, it could help a little bit, but to be honest, it's much more for aesthetics than anything else. But these kits will be sold uh, two by eight and four by eight, 3200 speed only at first. These are CL16 kits with Hynix memory modules. But the thing that actually excited me a little bit more than just seeing these water RAM kits was that the fact they're also gonna be coming without the water blocks attached to them. And I actually really like the look of these. It's a nice smooth matte finish. You've got these chamfered edges all around which kind of reflect the lighting in your case. They're low profile so they have kind of the same height as something like a Corsair Vengeance LPX might. Uh, so they're also going to be offering them in faster speeds uh, as, uh, as the platform matures, as they're able to get uh, more certification with motherboards and compatibility with both AMD and Intel systems. Uh, but for now, only 3200 speed and only going to be available with the water blocks at first coming late Q1 of this year, no pricing availability just yet. So you guys know Thermal Takes, uh, Ring Trio fans, I did a comparison of them on the channel. They actually scored really well compared to the most obvious competitor, which is the Corsair Light Loops. Right now they come in 120 and 140. They will soon come in a 200 as well. So if you have one of those chassis that can support 200 millimeter fans and you want this cool double-sided Ring Trio effect, this is coming soon. But if you look over here, you can actually see the Ring Duo. Gonna be a little bit lower priced than the Ring Trio. Still gonna have a double-sided lighting effect, but not quite as bold. Uh, if you actually spin this around, I don't know if they're actually wanting me to do this, uh, but you could actually see that the light does come through the back. There's nothing actually just physically blocking the light from coming through, but it doesn't quite have that same diffused effect that the Ring Trios do. Still gonna provide you with a good amount of ambient light into the case uh, from either direction. Uh, still have the same RGB ecosystem, so Thermal Takes is honestly one of the best around. The lighting looks really good. Uh, three pack of the 120s is gonna be 109. Three pack of the 140s is gonna be 119. Uh, this is coming end of the month. Still no pricing uh, or availability yet on the big boy 200, but that should also be coming soon. Thermal Take has a huge variety of power supplies. This is another one. This is their Tough Power PF1 ARGB uh, coming in uh, 850 all the way up to 1200 watt varieties. Uh, not going to be cheap. The 1200 watts going to be 269. The uh, 850 is going to be 219. Coming Q1. If you want more RGBs in your case, Thermal Take clearly has you covered. So this is the A500. I reviewed this on the channel a couple months ago. I really did like this case, but one of my biggest complaints, and honestly something that more than just me have been saying, is that the price point on this, because it is all aluminum, is a little bit high. So Thermaltake actually has been listening to feedback on that, and instead of an aluminum chassis, they've now moved over to steel. This is the Thermaltake S500, uh, S obviously standing for steel, and you can see that it has a different kind of finish. The, uh, it is a black finish, although this is a pre-production sample, so the final coloring might not be exactly the same. The internal layout is very similar, although not exact. It's gonna feature the same kind of spacing, layout, configuration that you could do with the original A500, but it's gonna come in at a price point of $129, which is almost half price of what the A500 was, which is a much, much easier pill to swallow. Thermal Take's new sit-stand desk is the Level 20 RGB de uh, gaming desk. And the reason it's RGB is we have these soft RGB effects around the edges. It's not something that's gonna hurt your wrist. It's actually kind of a soft material. Uh, but you can see that it is synced up so that every time you change something in Overwatch, we get a color change on the RGB effects. That's because it is Razer Chroma enabled. Uh, comes with this giant mouse pad that runs the entire surface of the desk. Uh, simple controls over on the side for up, down, up to four different presets. Uh, 
desk is fairly standard size, maybe a little bit larger than normal. One thing that I'm a little unsure of is the price on this. It's gonna be $1,100. It will be coming fairly soon though, so if you are interested in a sit-stand desk with some gaming uh, applications to it, some kind of uh, way to tie in your entire setup and lighting and whatnot into your desk as well, Thermaltake is gonna offer that for you. So that wraps up the Thermaltake suite for CES 2019. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. If you're not already, I wanna say a big thank you to our sponsors. Check them out at the links down below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you to Electronics for providing our editing systems for CES 2019. Check them out below.